Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. After putting those three videos together, the difference between seropeptase, nanokinase, and lumbrokinase, I figure I'll just take the highlights of the benefits of each and put it into a compiled version. So hope you enjoyed the video. Again, subscribe, comment, like, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video. Be good. Thank you. Seropeptase, very, very good. Now overall, this is phenomenal for an overall healthy inflammatory response. The main thing about seropeptase, in a nutshell, it dissolves scar tissue related to inflammation. And the doses vary according to what condition you're trying to treat. Natokinase, or NATO for short. Now this is phenomenal for overall vascular inflammation and it's also loaded with vitamin K2. And K2, what that does, that pulls the excess calcium out where it shouldn't be and help deposit it in the bone. Now, same thing, doses vary according to what condition you're trying to treat. Phenomenal product. And lumbrokinase, this is phenomenal for cardiovascular health. What it does, it actually goes to the scar tissue, fibrin, and help pulls it out. Now, lumbrokinase, phenomenal product, a little more costly. This is 300 times more potent than serapeptase. This is 30 times more potent than natokinase. Now, you could take all three of these at the same time, but always remember, you need to take it on an empty stomach. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos, and thanks for watching.